Oh my god. Oh, man. That's the whole run, baby. Get that. Hit the reset button on me, man. Uh -huh. Welcome to the office. Welcome to the office. Thank you. Nice to meet you, Tenzin. You as well. So, most important thing today is not the crack. The most important thing is understanding what the issue is. Right. So, what brings you here? You got some stuff going on. I do have a lot of stuff going on. So let's talk about at least top three. <laughs> top three for Why sure. Why did dad <laughs> tell you to come in? Dad sent me in because supposedly I have uh, femoral torsion in my right femur. Femoral torsion. Yeah, so it's internal rotation. Internal rotation. Yeah, okay. yeah internal rotation. Started when? <sighs> you were born like that? I think so because it's not injury based. Um, at least I don't think so. I beg to differ. Yeah, it, it okay. could be. Okay. <laughs> it could be. Um, I How noticed, long have you known about it? I noticed, I want to say, I'm 23 now. I noticed maybe middle school or my freshman year of high school. Okay. And um, I really, really noticed junior year when I started training Muay Thai, my kicks weren't landing properly on my right side as opposed to my left. Okay. And I just felt insanely like unbalanced, pinching in my groin area, mm -hmm. popping on the outside, mm -hmm. lack of mobility, and it's just I, I didn't know what to do. I was lost. Let's rewind a little bit. Yeah. What sports did you play? What activities did you do in elementary school and middle school? Growing up, uh, I've been doing basketball since I could walk, basically. Okay. Um, like year round, no breaks, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And then I started, I quit basketball and did Muay Thai starting junior year up until midway of senior year through high school. Okay. And then I pretty much ceased all sport activities by then. then just so I'm talking stuff has been going on going back to elementary school. Oh yeah. Yeah. And I see stuff that's old injuries there. Really? Okay. And we'll go over uh, that. Okay. So number one is the femoral torsion. Yeah. Popping, clicking, pain. Yes. Uh, limited activities now. Yeah. Not yeah. doing what very, you want to do. Not doing what I want to do. I can't get into a deep squat. It's very okay. uncomfortable. Okay. It's anytime I go upstairs or run, it's cons It's like heavy pops. Upstairs, not upstairs. down. Upstairs, up, not down. Yeah. Down is fine. Down is fine. No issue on the knees. No knee pain. No knee. Ankles pain. feel really stiff though. On both sides. Okay, you've you've sprained these ankles. I'm assuming over I've the years. I sprained this one twice. Okay. This one once. Did you sprain this after you noticed that, or before? Before. Yeah, before this, I can remember was elementary school, and then two more times. Tell in me high about that. Tell me about the one you remember the most. The one I remember the most, because I hurt the most. <laughs> you landed on your right hip. I did. Mm -hmm. I, I, I believe yeah. it. Uh, I fell, I was on a bounce house okay. when I was a kid. I landed like this and it rolled, rolled to the outside and then I fell off the bounce house onto the grass or something like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. Right. And then the other ones were just from playing basketball in high school. I never mm -hmm. rolled it on the inside though. It's always been outside. Right, inversion yeah. sprain. But yeah. also the thing I'm saying is there was, a, there was some trauma that happened where you hit your right pelvis and that caused a lot of torsion in your femur. I'm going to explain it mm. on the x-ray. Okay? Sure, sure. And I have a feeling that bouncy house is part of the answer. Yeah. I would, it's just figuring out the, the There's the probably cause. a bunch of things. And then up. there's all the <laughs> other stuff. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that's number one. Sure. You've seen people for it. What's the answer? What's the solution right now? <sighs> solution was for my Femoral torsion was a, a derotation surgery. What does um, that mean? Basically, how he explained it to me was they make an incision in the top, yep. go through the bone, like because it's hollow. They go through, go through here, through the bone, cut it from the inside, break it, twist it, screw it back in place. Screw it back in yeah. place. Yeah, yeah, screw it back in place. And just like, and like there'll, there'll be a rod inside of my leg. Okay and that'll hold it in place. And then supposedly I could put weight on it, weight on it the same day. Um, 
probably like a few months of recovery. They they told me to do more research on it first, but yeah, that's yeah, just yeah. what he, he recommended. Give me give me a few visits to help you figure. Yeah, out. You'll, you'll see. <laughs> sure, you'll sure. See I tr I you know trust I'm in dad. your hands. Yeah. Trust dad. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that's the main issue. What else is going on? <sighs> that's my main complaints. I feel like there are it, it branches off into other things mm -hmm. like stiff ankle, popping, pinching. Okay. Um, I mean, I, I've been working as a server for four years, four or five years, major back like stiffness. I would say mainly like mid and upper back. Right side? <sighs> Honestly, I haven't noticed the side. Okay. I feel like it, it might be all around. I'm at my desk all day, so like my neck is stiff. I'm a computer science major, major okay. so okay. I'm just at my desk all day. Shoulder right side pops. Um, Everything's right sided so far. Yeah. Yeah, so that that's just pretty much it. Yeah. Cool. All right, let's do this. Let's go yeah. over your x-rays. Sure. Let me let's explain and start to put the pieces together yeah. for you. I'm very excited. After that, I'll examine you, give you your first adjustment. Yeah. See you for a few visits. Yeah. And we'll go from there. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Let's perfect. do it. Come perfect. on over perfect. here. So the first thing is let's run a posture line from here. We're going to run it straight up. And the first thing we're going to see here is you carry this line here. So this line here from the base of the lowest lumbar should bisect C7 here and C2. So what it shows is you carry the upper part of your body slightly behind the foundation. Mm -hmm. And so with that posture being slightly back, what do you think these muscles and ligaments have to do just to hold you up? They're working a bit harder. They're working a bit harder. Right. So that's part of the answer. It's not right. the cause though, sure. part of the answer. Second thing is, do we have the right spinal curves? Now, we would like to see, they say ideally is 60 degrees in the lumbar spine, okay. 60 in the thoracic, 40 to 60 in the neck. If we look at the overall curvature, your mid-back curve is good. This is straight, this is a little straight, starting to get a little bit of a reversal starting. I'll explain more detail. Mm -hmm. And we want a little more curve in the low back, okay? And I'm going to explain where it's coming from okay. or the lack of. We're going to zoom in a little bit now and see. So first thing is, let's look at the discs. And overall, the discs are decent, OK? But here's part of my, the answer now. You see, when we're looking at these discs, these are parallel. You can see a straight line there. Mm -hmm. When we look here, we can see these circle patterns, yes? Yeah. The circle patterns is from the slight tilting here because we have a short leg on the left side. Okay. Now I'm gonna switch over here and get to this foundation. This is the bulk of the work that we do is the foundation. We right. need a level base. Right. So when we're looking at, do we have a level base? We have a 10 millimeter measured difference, meaning there's a drop on the left side. Mm -hmm. Four of that 10 millimeter uh, difference is coming from a tailbone injury. Okay, we have a mm -hmm. rotated sacrum on the side of a rotated pelvis. It's dropped and the leg is short. Now I'm going to put it together and yeah. I'm going to relate it to the femur. Now the way the pelvis works, it works in opposite. One goes up, the other goes down. One, so the one goes up, the other goes down. One goes in, the other goes out. Right. The femur is sitting in there, right? Right. Okay. So what you're telling me is it's internally rotated. Yes. Can you make a fist like that? Yeah. Stick it in there? Oh, right here. Yeah. Your pelvis, should I come from behind here? Let me just see this. So if the femur is sitting in here, sorry, I don't have a model with yeah. the femur. No, bone. that's fine. That's fine. I'm over here. here. I'll be the bone. So that's your, you the bone. I'm the bone. You're the femur. <laughs> yeah. Watch this. It's gone, it's supposed to be here. Yeah. It's gone A S E X. Um, what did it just do to your femur? rotated it inward, Thank which you. is exactly what I've been dealing with. <laughs> that, yeah, that's your answer. However, however, when, I, when I'm showing you this, look, if the right side is up, the left side is down. They work in opposite. Right. Now it could be, you said you fell here, but it could be that the initial injury was the left side. If the left side went down, it forced the right one up. If the left side went in, it forced the right one out. Mm -hmm. So the x-ray tells me it probably happened first on the left side. So even whatever that injury right. was, it was before that. 
it's the answer to whatever happened previous. Correct. And so we have two issues going on. We have this rotated sacrum. So let's put it together now on the left right. side. It's gone <clears throat> down, turned in the pelvis. The sacrum goes back three, down four, and the whole thing goes down ten. So we got, the number one thing is, we got to get this under seven millimeters for all this stuff to hold. Mm -hmm. And if the adjustment itself doesn't do it to get it under seven, then possibility we may have to put a heel lift on the left side. The good news is you're young enough. The sacrum doesn't fully mature until 32 to 34. You're okay. 23. Yeah. Okay. Now... The sacral okay. segments. This is a big thing in the work I do here. A lot of people don't agree with what I'm about to say, and that's okay. There are five, well, we can agree that there's five segments in the tailbone. We know it ossifies, matures at 32 to 34. There are remnant disc spaces there that can swell and pinch on these nerves. Mm -hmm. But the idea a lot of people think is you can't do anything to the tailbone because it's a fused bone. Mm. I don't agree with that. The research doesn't support it. Sure. Okay. So the idea is if four of this is coming from the tailbone and we can really get that sorted out, we get that to six. Anything right better than that is a bonus. Sure. Okay. Yeah, right on. All right. That's where we're at right now. So that's your answer. Wow. Got it? Now let's continue. It's all cause and effect, isn't it? It's all cause and effect. <laughs> and you do in comp sci, right? Yes. <laughs> all right, so in comp sci, the way I'll explain the neurology of this, this is your 24-port switch in the back. All right. <laughs> all right. Brain sends a signal down the port. Yep. You got the ports, you got the signals coming out, going to all the end organs or terminals. Yeah. You're trying to ping something. What happens if there's congestion? Doesn't go through. <laughs> Slow signal, yeah. right? Yeah. Same thing with the with the body. Exactly the same. Yeah. So we're gonna figure this out. It turns. It comes back to neutral. Let's go up, and then we have something going on in the mid back that's also affecting your digestion. Is a little bit off. Hmm. Okay. And it's nothing I'm gonna give you for your digestion today. Yeah. You're young enough. Yeah. Just through the adjustments, you're gonna report back and tell us what's different. Sure. We'll see. Sure. So we have one, two, three. We have a side slip at T3. You had a hit here. Something happened at T3. Four, five, six, seven, and at seven. When I look here, these are normal. It starts to tilt right there. Do you see that? I do. It's a very slight tilt here. You see that? So you had some good stuff happen in, in between your shoulder blades. We'll deal with yeah. that also. But again, all of this is secondary to the foundation. Yep. Okay, let's continue up. <clears throat> Upper cervically is okay. Right jaw deviation. If you want me to deal with it, I will. Yeah, I mean, I'm yeah. down for the whole, the whole package. The whole so. <laughs> okay. All right, so we have right deviation there. Let's go to the side now. And as I said, overall, your discs are decent. These are good. It's good These to hear. These are good. These are good. I can see it. They're, it's a little light in there, but they're good. Your neck issue is starting here at C7. Let me show you this in terms of your neck. So we're looking at the discs are all good. This one is tilted. This one is tilted. This one is tilted and worn out a little bit. You see how that's really white right there? Mm -hmm. Okay, you're putting a lot of stress on the lower cervical spine. And that's probably the posture in, in school. Yeah. So when we're looking at the side here, these are the discs right here, okay? These are the discs. These are called facet joints. When I look here, there's space here, space here, space here. This is tilting, starting to pinch a little bit. Look how that's thick. Yeah, it literally looks thicker. Like it's thicker. Yeah. And that process, we're educating too. The process is called enuberation. 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 Thickening of the bone. And thickening of the bone, according to Wolf's Law, bone will grow according to the demand placed on it. Too much stress on that joint. Body's yeah. doing what? It's trying to stabilize so you don't injure yourself. Yeah. Okay? So we have C7. We have around T3, T7, and foundation. Make sense? Makes sense to you me. You ready to get started? I'm ready. I'm ready. What year are you in right now? Technically, I'm a senior, according right. to credits. Are you graduating? Not this spring. Next spring. Cool. Yeah. All right. I'm All very right. excited. Let's get, let's get rocking. Yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's do, do it. it. All 
All right, so base of the neck, first thing we're getting, C7, five, six points, 10 points, left side. Upper neck, C1, five points, left side. T4, 10 points, left side. I kind of like the lighting, Chesha. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it. Me too. It's cool. T10, 11, 10 points, left side. Now the fun one. And you can even see, this is your normal sitting for right now, right? Yeah. So what you can see, come from the top here, Shesha. This is what's interesting. So we look here. This glute is higher, so it looks a little smaller than this. That's the AS. But then it looks wider from the EX. And you can see he's tilting this way. He's coming up the spine. This is the upper part. This is the foundation. It's behind. So what do you think has to happen here? All these muscles are working overtime. Okay. Let's see what we got here. I got to go low. Mm -hmm. S3, S4, left side, T10, 11, maybe 12, T4, T5, C7, and C1. So those are the pressure readings I'm getting. The next thing is static palpation. Head down, please. And I'm going to, in his case, do static palpation first, and then we're going to go closer to the pelvis. All right. And the first thing we get is we got that swelling and edema right there, pooling right there. One, two, three, that's four, that's five, that's six, starts at five. Five is more tender? Yeah, or they're all pretty... <laughs> Not that one. Not as much that one. Starts, <laughs> Yeah. that's one, six. <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine, ten or eleven. Ten, 10 for sure. 10. All right, now let's check down low. First thing is let's check the tailbone, the sacrum. Back slowly towards me, L5, S1. S2 is tender. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. S3 is tender. Yeah. S4. Not as, well, yeah, still pretty bad. Yeah. One more down low, S5, <coughs> S5. I'm gonna be on the outside, you have your underwear on? Yeah. I'll mm -hmm. be on the no outside, problem. right there. S5 coccyx, feet together. Together? Yep, feet touching, open and close your knees with your feet touching, please. Open and close, good, open and close. Keep going, like a butterfly. Left side only. Left side only. So when he does the left, the whole right is shifting under my thumb. Do the right side only. When he does the right, <laughs> the left is also shifting under my thumb. But what I'm feeling is left sacrum and I'm feeling right pelvis. All right, left sacrum, right pelvis. We're down at S5 coccyx. We have T10, T6. Let's check the neck now. Sit back for me. If I'm going too fast for anything, just let me know. I want to make sure you understand what I'm doing, okay? Of course, of course. Sit back for me, please. But you're calm sight. You guys are fast. Yes, <laughs> we have to. You have to. There's no <laughs> choice. Yeah. I did one computer language years ago, and I'm like, it wasn't for me. I did yeah. Fort, Fortran. Fortran. It was for engineering. They don't mm. teach it anymore. Yeah, honestly, I haven't heard that. <laughs> Fortran. It was for uh, engineering. I despised it. That's six. Yeah. That's all tender. Yeah. But it's starting that six. Not as bad down there. Six. Yeah, right, right there. Hold on. Head down. Two, three, four, five, six. That one. Yeah, it feels hot. Seven. All right. Yeah. Right down where you said it was earlier, too. Yes, sir. 
We'll leave the upper cervical for later and see if it's still there. So, let's have you walk. Now the fun part. All right. <clears throat> Stand up, step forward. I'm going to tuck the back of your gown in. Yeah. You're going to walk to the corner of the room and back this, this several times. Here. Yes, sir. Seven. Several, several times. times. Several, several times. times. Regular walking, whatever's normal. Actually, let's take a look. And what do we yeah. see? He has, in, he was told internal rotation, but it's interesting how he has external rotation of his foot. Yeah, uh, I have an answer for that. What's so that? Apparently, I'm normally like this, but I've been compensating and walking like this just to flare it out so it's like more comfortable. So I do walk with my right foot uh, flared out. That's, that's how I stand naturally. Because you've been compensating. Yeah. This is an interesting case without an x-ray, you would not know this case. Walk to the corner of the room and back now, just don't, con just whatever's just natural. Normal. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't think about it. Yeah. Just keep walking. Just keep walking. Yeah, that left hip's not moving. It just keeps doing this side to side when you, or sorry, the right hip just goes side to side when he walks. And do you swing your shoulders or not really? Uh, I'm gonna come from so I can get a bit of a Please. better stride. Please. I do. I have like. People say I walk with like kind of a bounce. I don't know. Maybe my shoulders. Okay. One more time, please. Let's go on your back. And that's going to be, just going to be back over here, please. I just want to check the movement, okay, of both hips on your back, please. Should I come from left side, please? Raise your right, uh, left leg, left leg up. And I'm just checking general movement, okay? No flexion, flexion, extension, valgus, and varus. Other side, please. Raise it up. That's it. Yeah, that's about it. This is a good test for us. We're going yeah. to test after the adjustment. Sure. Valgus. It's already internal. It's, it yeah. doesn't want to go anymore. Out. That's not bad. Okay. Ankles. Easy test for the ankles. I mean, there's just, this one's a rock. Yeah. They bring, feel the, like... bring the toes back as far as you can. This one goes back, this one is tight. Yeah, that feel that. Yeah, that's not a great feeling right there. Okay. Alright, stand up. <clears throat> Walk it off once and then yeah. I'm gonna formulate a game plan for today. While well, you're walking, I'm just looking at my x-rays. Yes. Yeah. No problem. And I gotta figure out how we wanna do this today. So we wanna go Tupac or we wanna go baby today? <laughs> we can do whatever, whatever do. we can do anything. anything. All right, so I suggest we're gonna start S5 coccyx, left side. Then we're going to switch to the other side and do the ASEX. I'm choosing to do a push on the ASEX instead of a pull because the AS is the major. Sure. Um, let's go right side down. Right side down. Right side down. You been adjusted before? Never. Oh wow! Never. Yeah, I'm very uh, got looking newbie. forward to it. Right side down, please. Yeah. We got a new B. I'm gonna roll you towards me. I'm gonna be on the underwear, okay? Yeah. On the outside. There we go. And we're down low. There it is. Okay. I'm gonna roll you as a unit. I got you the whole way. <laughs> yeah. Come up slowly, please. Different. <laughs> okay, let's walk that off, please. Take your time. Walk two times back and forth. That was a deep adjustment. Yeah. And that was the Cox 6S5. Oh, wow. Look at his feet, guys. Yeah, they, it's like... Don't think about it. Just yeah. watch. Check it out. Keep going. A little different. You okay there? Yeah. 
Let's yeah. go left side down now, and let's see the pelvis, please. Left side, left side down. Head over here. A S E X. Bottom leg straight, top leg bent. Slide your whole body forward. There you go. We good, brother? Yeah. Great. Doing great. Good. We're just checking and making sure you're good. For the AS, I need to be on the glute right there, okay? All right. Is that all right? Yeah. So, contact point from the PSIS, one, two, one, two, three, down on the ischial spine. I'm going to be doing an ASEX. We're going to bring the pelvis down and in that way. Relax that bottom leg, please. Let me bring that up. And we want to really traction his shoulder for this. That's the home <laughs> run, baby. Get that. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> Walk it out. <sighs> All right. That was beautiful. Yeah. And I could really tell the difference from both sides on how you did it. You mean the uh, contact, the adjustment? Yeah. Like it was different. It, was, it wasn't. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't or just a. Yeah. Walk it off, please. Check it out. Uh huh. Wow. So no more compensating starting today. Just walk whatever is Yeah, just natural. walk how I'm supposed to walk. Exactly. And your homework is 10,000 steps a day. And you're in, you're in college, dude. You walk yeah. around. Yeah, and I, I work as a server, so I'm walking around. Perfect. Now his right dimple is starting to move. It's pretty cool. Let's keep walking, dude. One more time, please. Dad, you got some good, uh, you got some good points, brownie points yeah. with your son. <laughs> Have a seat, please. Let's rescope everything. Wow. All right. They were both very deep, so I decided. Yeah, that, it felt like right, like super. Feet together. Open yeah. and close the knees. Open and close. Left side only. Feet are touching. It's a little more movement now. Right side only. You feel that? Yeah. It's a little more movement now. Let's reach out the rest. We're going to do six. We're going to leave that one alone. Mm. We're going to do six, and then we're going to do one. Deal with the other ones later. Uh, let's go back down. T6, we're going to set one, two, three, four, five. There's a PRS. Let's go on this table over here, gray table. Step on the black platform, please. Yep. Mm -hmm. Go face down. Receive, palms up. There you go. One, two, three. vehicle sir and let's walk it out oh. <laughs> check it out talk to me yeah yeah I just feel like I'm still like processing okay but that like you running the program yeah we gotta get rid of the program it's good Have it's a seat. good yeah wow Have a seat. You gotta do a defrag and a reboot. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> That's a defrag and a reboot. All right. I'm gonna be doing this as a critical atlas. Sit back <laughs> for me, please, all the way back. C2 on the left, really light. Really light. There we go. All right. Really light. A little more. Look up. All right. There you go. <laughs> uh, one more. Last one. Right here down. Right here down. 
Oof. That's the home run, baby. <sighs> <laughs> wow, man. Nice. Just give that a minute, just process what's happening. I'm gonna just do my note real quick and then we'll continue. That was nice. C2, C1, T6, Coxix, ASX. Yeah. Walk it out, dude. Check it out. Oh, man. You got the reset. I hit the reset button on me, man. Uh-huh. <laughs> now watch him walk, guys, after yeah. his adjustment. Now he's got some... Yeah, there like I'm moving go. now. There you go. <laughs> Good. One more time, please. Awesome. Yeah. Go on your back and let's t test out the hip. All right. I'm looking for change. Yeah. Raise your right leg up, please. Right leg up. Check it out. Yeah, deeper. Feels like to me. Yeah. Turn in. Check it out. Hold it there. Foot on the table. Just gonna break up some old scar tissue. This is vibration therapy. Yeah. Straighten out the leg. Bend the knee, back up, straighten it out, back up, if it's too much you tell me, okay, straighten it out, <laughs> tickles, right, tickles, like a tickle spice, <laughs> come on, come on dude, this is vibration therapy, the frequency is 170 to 180 hertz, breaks out the scar tissue, five, four, Go out. Bring it out. Bring the knee to your chest. Bring the knee to your chest. Grab the grab your knee. Five, four, three. Oh! Awesome. I'm gonna start your ankles with a speeder board. The sound is the board, not your ankles breaking. Yep. All right, raise your right leg, please. No, straight leg. Straight. Up, relax it down. Left leg up, down. Sit up and turn, please. I'm going to work on your shoulders and your ears now. Oh, my God. Shoulders. Shoulders. There you go. Now the buff and polish on the back. It's a good case, dude. I'm glad that sent you in. I'm glad I'm here. You're gonna have soreness, things are gonna shift around, okay? Yeah. Change habits. And the first habit to change is trying to don't think about compensating. Yeah. 10,000 steps a day, ice the areas I adjusted, you'll probably have a little soreness. These muscles and ligaments have been off balance for a while. It's for years. Gonna, it's going to want to pull you back. We're going to keep on it for the week and then we'll make decisions after that, okay? Yeah. You just need to show up, dude. You just oh, need man. to show up, okay? Walk it off two more <laughs> times and then give us some feedback. All right. Let me just tuck the back of your gown in. Yeah, no problem. Just so we have something to compare to. Yeah. And then as you're walking, I'll shut up and you can give us feedback. Sure. There we go. Go ahead. <sighs> Definitely feel like decompressed for sure. Feel lighter. Can you stand in front of me here, please? Yeah. Can you face me? Do a squat. Tell me, shush. tell me if anything is different in your squat. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like my hips. I can move a bit better. Keep your feet straight for a second, just for a second. My squat depth is already horrible, so I'm not ex expecting too much there. But now turn both feet out equally. 
squat. <clears throat> Don't move. We're going to test something out for sure. Let's, let's see some magic. Let's do it. Let's see some magic. <laughs> These are my magic inserts and magic socks. It was created by a scientist in Toronto, in Canada. This is the technology. They're Neurotech wearables. They have socks too. I've been using them about four or five years. The test is this. They do three things. More ankle stability, more trunk range of motion, a little less back pain. Okay. You should see a difference in your squat. Step back, please. And let's put those wherever you yeah. want them to be. Perfect. Okay, Shasha. Thank you. And squat again. just do your squats however you want to do them. Check it out. Yeah. Do like three. Okay, keep going. Don't think about compensating, just do them. Step off the insert now and do them again. <clears throat> Things are shifting. Good. Yeah. It does feel like this does cave in a little bit, mm -hmm. but I mean, it's been doing that. Now go down the insert again, please, one more time. smoother when you do it. Yeah, slightly, yes. Slightly. Okay. Yeah. We're not going to add any of this variable. We're going to just see what your body does naturally for yeah. a few days. Yeah. And then I may add these for you just to give you more mobility. Of okay. Course. Yeah. But I don't want you to overcompensate. Right. That's the right. Thing. That's the key. Cool. And let's check the, the hands. Come over I here. did, just a heads up, I did uh, break both of my wrists two months ago snowboarding. Squeeze. Broke what? Both of the inside ones right here. Both of them. Okay, what I'm going to work on is the distal radius. Because the carpal bones, I'm going to work on this bone here. Yeah, okay. that's the one I broke. Oh, you did? Yeah, this, or it was this main radius or ulna, I forget which one. Never mind then, I'm not touching it. Yeah, <laughs> we'll work <laughs> on, on both sides, yeah. <laughs> what I'd like you to do is get me the x rays. I'll take a look at it. Yeah. Turn around, please. I'll take a look at it just to make sure. Yeah. And uh, I'll work on that if we need to. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Questions for today? <sighs> no questions. Um, I just like I just want to like walk around and just like notice my body's like changing and stuff like that. Yeah. But okay. this was great. This was fantastic. Awesome. Welcome to Super the office. Super fantastic. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So what you'll do? Today is Friday. Yeah. Can you come in tomorrow? Tomorrow. Yeah. Come yeah. in. Come in tomorrow. I can do tomorrow. You can do as much walking as you want today, please. 10,000, 12, 15,000 steps. I'll evaluate you tomorrow, then we'll regroup later in the week. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Awesome. Take care, man. Thank you so much. You got it. Thank you.